how to upload thumbnails of youtube videos in bulk so here i am going to add all my thumbnail urls in the google sheet and then i will connect my google sheet with the youtube application in such a way that the thumbnails of all my youtube video will be uploaded automatically in bulk yes it is possible you do not have to manually upload the thumbnail of every single video one by one you just need to add the url here and the thumbnails will be uploaded automatically and directly from the google Google Sheets. So if you also want to set this automation, come with me and I will show you the process step by step. So this is my spreadsheet and I have the video URL, the title and new thumbnail URLs to update in these YouTube videos of my channel. And I'm going to connect this spreadsheet with my YouTube application and you will see that these thumbnails will be automatically updated in my YouTube video channel. And I'm going to connect these two applications with the Pabli Connect. It is an integration and automation software and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach this link in in my description box now if you are a new user of pabli connect you will have to sign up for free and you will also get free tasks to test these kinds of automation in the free account of pabli connect i am already an existing user of pabli connect that is why i am clicking on signing and then i have clicked down access now and this is how i will reach to the dashboard of pabli connect after reaching out to the dashboard here, you will have to click on this button, create workflow. Firstly, you need to provide the name to your workflow, to your automation. I am providing the name as update thumbnails of YouTube videos directly from the Google Sheets. Okay, click on create and you will find two boxes in front of you. Those are actually trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. When this happens, do this. Understand with an example also that whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway, application let's say send an email via gmail application well according to our use case whenever the thumbnail url is added in google sheets application automatically update that thumbnail in youtube application so that is why i am going to select here google sheets application and this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are setting up an automation since i am creating the automation in between google sheets and youtube so the first application is google sheets and the trigger event will be new or updated spreadsheet row and here you can see a webhook url and few set of instructions have just emerged out so the idea here is firstly i am connecting my google sheets with pabli connect to software first so that the data of this particular sheet can be captured here in the pabli connect and then finally i am going to send the same data to youtube application or to any other application and this is how the automation will take place so follow my instructions copy the this webhook URL and go back to your spreadsheet in which you have added your data and here click on this extension click on add-on click on get add-ons and search for the Pabli connect webhooks here I am also searching for the same and you will find the add-on basically the Pabli connect webhooks add-on which is already installed into my account so I am going to close it directly but make sure the very first thing you'll have to do is to install that add-on after installing you will find your Pabli connect connect webhooks option here click on this initial setup and here also you will find two boxes one is for the webhook url so here i am going to copy and paste the same webhook url so i have updated and finally it is asking for the trigger column well trigger column is the column on the filling of which you want this automation to start you want this automation to trigger okay so in this particular case i have the last column as the d column and i want whenever the data is added the whenever the data is filled up to d this automation should trigger so instead of d i am going to add here sorry instead of f i am going to add here d okay not in this case but in the capital case okay click on send test and you will see the data of the first row will be sent to the pabli connect the test data sent successfully click on submit and then you will see the setup configured successfully click on close come back to pabli connect and here you will find that the response will be received immediately you can see here is the view column the video url the trigger column we have actually set was d here's the title of the video basically the title of the first row okay how to connect a google lead ad form okay you can see how to connect a google lead ad form it is the same data and we have further data also basically the spreadsheet name the id the sheet name and the sheet id 
so the first step of our integration of our automation is actually done which was connecting our google sheet with the paply connect and capturing the data here now we want to update the thumbnail url and where is the thumbnail url let me first check it okay this is the video url and where is the thumbnail url okay we have this thumbnail url let me first open and check whether it is the correct url or not okay and it is the same url okay let me again open and check cross check okay it is the same url so i am going to update this particular thumbnail into this particular video okay let me open this particular video also okay and i am going to edit this video from here so that i can actually check what is the existing thumbnail of this particular video well as such there is no existing thumbnail so i am going to update this with the help of automation directly from the google sheet so what i will do is in the next step basically in the action step here i will be selecting youtube as the action application and in the action event since i want to set the thumbnail so that is why i will select a set thumbnails but in case you want to set any other details let's say you want to add you want to update the seo of your your channel you can also do the same via this youtube action basically update video details but for now i will go with this particular action even click on connect and basically we are connecting our channel with the pably connect okay choose this add a new connection connect with youtube and provide the access of your youtube channel from here okay so i have provided the same now i will click on continue and you will see the authorization will be successful and my youtube channel will be connected immediately with pably connect and here in order to update the thumbnail url it is asking me two things the video id which is required and the image url well i already have the image url but i do not have the video id so from where i can actually get the video id well it is asking for this particular id you can see in the url of your youtube video the last part is actually considered as the youtube video id so it is actually asking for this particular id only okay so i need to fill this id so how i am going to do that so what i will do is i will add two extra column here after after this video url and here i am going to fetch out this particular video id from the url with the help of split formula so press equal to type split and here it is asking for the text to split so i want to uh, separate this particular url so i have selected the same now add a comma and finally it is asking for the delimiter so i want to separate this url via this equal to this equal to is actually common in all the urls and i want to separate this value via equal to so within the inverted comma i will add this equal to and i will now close the bracket and you will see the id will be separated immediately let me rename these two columns also video id and this was the formula or you can say the first part of your you can actually uh, provide any name to this particular column and don't worry i don't need to add this formula in every column manually simply drag this particular of formula here and if you want to drag it more it will be beneficial for you so let's say if you are going to add new data here in the future the id will be separated again automatically here in the c column let me even show you first i am going to freeze this particular row okay i have freezed it and let me copy this random url and will show you if in future also i am going to add this url what will happen the first url and the video id will be automatic separated so for now i am going to delete it going up directly and since this particular column is actually of no use at least for now so i am going to hide this column why i am hiding this column because i cannot delete this column because my formula is actually present in that column now finally i have the video id as well but remember in the extension section we have actually set the trigger column as something else okay click on this initial setup and we have actually actually set the trigger column as d but for now my column has been shifted so that is why the trigger column is not actually d now i have the trigger column as f now so i am going to click on i am going to select f but before that before you click on this button you will again go back to pably connect and you will again need to recapture you need to click on this recapture webhook response so basically we are going to capture the google sheets response once again here in the pably 
Fably Connect. So that is why I have clicked on this button once again. And now finally, when I will click, when I will click on this button, send test, you will see the updated data will be sent to the Fably Connect. And here you can see we have even sent the video ID. Again, click on submit and close this particular window because the setup configured successfully. Coming back to Fably Connect and you will see the response is received and here we have the video ID as well. Okay, so finally we have the data. Now I am going to add this video ID here instead of manually adding when you will click on this button. Well, I'll have to refresh it once again. Then only you will find the above data here in the drop down section. You can see insert data from the previous step, but the data of previous step is actually not visible. So let me first save it. Well, video ID is actually required. So I'll have to refresh it but uh, the step has got removed so i'll have to add the youtube application once again and in the action event i am again going to select that set thumbnail option all right and this time instead of selecting the add new connection i will go with the existing connection only since i have just made the connections now finally we are going to provide the video id well we have the id how about i directly search for this id okay you can see id i have mapped it successfully and finally the image url so where is the image url okay 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 i have this new thumbnail url to update going to map it again now what is this mapping all about which i am repeating again and again so if you are going to map any value here instead of adding it manually these values will be replaced automatically in real time yes when the new data will be sent to the pabli connect first it will be captured here and the next time the new thumbnail url will replace these existing values with the new one and this is the power of mapping and this is how this automation will take place this is the power of automation so i'll click on the save and center stickers button but before that let me first cross check we are actually updating how to connect to google lead ad form so here i'm having the video how to connect to google lead ad form now finally clicking on this button and wait for the response for the pause positive response fingers crossed okay and you can see the responses received the positive responses received going back here and let me first refresh both the sections and check whether the thumbnail is updated automatically or not in my video okay waiting for the page to be reloaded and yes the same thumbnail url has been uploaded has been updated automatically without doing anything manually okay so you just need to set this automation once with the Pabli connect and it is just a one-time process basically the setting up of an automation is actually a one-time process and once you have created this automation inside Pabli connect every time you are going to add a new url the thumbnails will be updated automatically and here you will have to make one more very important setting because this time the thumbnail url is updated of only first row but we were about to update the urls in bulk we want to update the url of all these videos so you just need to enable the send all event option and you will see the thumbnail url of each video will be updated basically the thumbnail will be updated of all the videos automatically but before that let me first to show you what is the existing thumbnail of few videos okay so i am going to open these two videos okay let us check whether we have the thumbnail or not okay let me edit this thumbnail and this one also I'm going to edit. Okay, so I have edited both the videos. Let us check what are the existing thumbnails consist in these videos. Okay, you can see this particular video also does not consist of any thumbnail. And if we are, what is the thumbnail of this video? Okay, this video also does not consist of any custom thumbnail. So finally, I will be enabling this particular option, basically the send all data. Make sure send all data. If you want to update the data in bulk, you need to select the send all data. And if you want to update the data in real time, basically, as soon as you are adding a new row here, then you want the automation to trigger, then you can go with send on event. But for now, I want to update the data in bulk so i have selected the same it is still working okay it is done let me reload these two videos and wait for the a thumbnail to be uploaded okay 
well you can see the thumbnail of this particular video has been updated that is five microsoft excel automation let us cross check whether it is the same url or not this was the thumbnail url which i have added in the sheet and yes it is the same thumbnail url so this is how now onwards you can actually do the updations in bulk automatically with the help of pavli connect in case you want to clone this particular workflow into your account i am adding this shareable link in my description box from where you can actually clone the same workflow into your pavli connect account so just to sign up in the pavli connect for free and clone the same workflow into your account not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pavli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pavli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pavli connect and for the latest updates of pavli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video